Okay, so uh, thank you for this one. It's an emergency meeting, and I do appreciate you you uh, being with us. Um, so first one, Emma, to apologies for absence. And apologies from uh, Clive, from Council Appeal, and uh, Council Sparks. Yeah. Okay, we're happy to accept those. Yeah. Okay then. Uh, declarations of interest. Well, the, you know, I, I have to declare that I, I am aware of the uh, the anonymous um, uh, donor, so you know I have to declare that at the moment. And although I'll chair it, I won't take part in the voting. Okay. Um, and, uh, it, obviously, Peter is not here because he he was the, uh, the an interested party, and therefore mm -hmm. it wasn't appropriate. Yes. Um, right, public participation. I see we've got Robert with us. Are you here as an observer, Robert? No, I'm just observing. I haven't got anything to say. Oh, so you're very welcome. Okay. All right. A request from interested parties. Nothing. No. All right then. Okay. So the uh, the, the 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 proposal on the table there. Um, apparently, the uh, piece of property was going to be for, uh, offered for sale to thirteen thousand five hundred. Um, and it was whether or not we wanted as Andrew Town Council to increase our bid by 500 or accept the uh, the donation uh, for the, for that. So um, yeah, open to discussion. Oh, Brainer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sort of opposed. Yes, I understand, Jerry. And I don't think we've done anything to change that. I mean, what? Uh, oh, hi, Malcolm. Oh, hi. Sorry. Yeah. So the main the main consideration here is an alteration to a resolution that we've already made, uh, rather than the reviewing of that resolution. Yeah, but uh, thanks, Jerry. Sorry, right, sorry, Ian. Did you did you want to? Yeah, I was I was going to say, as as Val said, it seems a no brainer. Um, I, I think there's there's strategic value in having it. I think there's practical value in having it as well. And for the sake of, of five hundred pounds, the, the the risk of losing it is 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 too well, great. Yeah, that's it. that kind of ignores the other thirteen thousand pounds. But anyway, yeah. well, no, we've we've approved that already. So, yeah. Okay, David. How certain are we that if we increase our offer by five hundred pounds, we are actually going to get it? Well, there's some more news come in this afternoon, and uh, it, essentially, ENC have withdrawn uh, the the property from sale for the the uh, from uh, to Peter. So, you know, it was Peter that had, had been offered it at 13,500 and they've withdrawn the offer from him. So we don't really, we don't actually know what would, what's going on. Uh, I think all we can do here is say that, you know, well, if that is the price, are we, Arundel Town Council, willing to pay that for it? But it, it, it's turned into quite a mess. Um, yeah, David again. Oh, and then Val. Well... It just strikes me the last thing we want to do is is pass a resolution at 13,500, then discover that actually if we'd gone to 13,750 for the sake of argument, we would have got it. Yeah. So are we going to give ourselves any kind of wiggle room so that we authorise an offer of 13 and a half, but are prepared to go higher? The trouble is, if we're going to have that debate in public, it rather undermines the whole idea, doesn't it? Yes. So, yeah. should we then go into a confidential session to discuss that? Right, well, that's open, open to the group, uh, Val. Um, I need putting straight on this. Am I to, to presume that the, the sale to Peter had not actually been finalised? Oh, or Peter. are we buying it off Peter? We're not buying it off Peter. That's what I had thought, you see. Yeah, no, we're because not I buying knew, it. I didn't know it was Peter, but I, yeah. I had thought that we were buying it off the person who had successfully bid for no. it and bought no, it. No, and there's no intention of doing that because we get into stupid lawyer fees. Uh, sorry, P uh, David, I have to be careful. <laughs> but, uh, but we would get into le legal fees on buying and selling and it just uh, it, it's wasted money. So it's either a straightforward purchase off ENC you know, or nothing. So let's do that. Can we say up to 500 more? Uh, well, I, I, I think you, you can say up to 500 more. It doesn't make any difference, really, does it? Um, no, but it's just tidies it up from the point of view of what some we're saying we will pay. Yes, yeah. Over okay. the, the 13,000. Okay. 
Yeah, David, uh, David Fuller, I'm sorry, I didn't know whether you wanted to no, say No, I'm late. Me. My wife wasn't very well, so I was just dealing with that. Um, so I'm just trying to catch up, basically, so my apologies. Um, I just said, whatever you need, we should, we should do. And approve. As long as it's not ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I lost a lot of that conversation now. I don't, don't know what happened. I'm, I'm just going to try plugging electricity and see if that helps. <laughs> so, um, just for one thing, I'm assuming that um, if they've withdrawn the offer, um, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens next with regards to whether they're going to be back on the market or... Yes, yeah. So it's Annabelle has been involved, and she has been in touch with Greg. You know, so I'm, with my optimistic side on, I'm hoping that they've resolved that they will just sell it to 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 Andal. On the pessimistic, they go back into the bidding again. So I just want to keep this discussion here quite simple. Um, and you know, David has said, do, do we want to increase it above the year uh, thirteen five? Um, I'm, personally, I don't think there's much point, but you know, because you know we're not getting back into a bidding war. We we said that we would buy it at the price down that uh, ENC had put it on the market for. So ENC had accepted a thirteen thousand five hundred their bid for the property. Oh right. Let's do it then. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a great meeting. So just say yes. <laughs> do, do we need? Do we need a? Proposal before it's, a second. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll I will propose, propose that we go to thirteen thousand five hundred. One second. Sorry. Okay. So we've got Dr. Sort of proposing Malcolm. Yeah. yeah. So David and then Malcolm. That's the first resolution then. And then it's just a straightforward vote on that one. So I thought we'd go in favour of that. One. Well, now I said I'd withdraw. So okay. <laughs> All right. So we've got those in favour and then against. We've got uh, Jerry and uh, my, I'm an abstention. Okay. So I think that one is carried. And I, I don't know at that point whether or not we want to, uh, David uh, Chapel put in an additional item or if you are happy just to leave it at that. I think I, I caught David's thing. I think we should have something to cover our back so we don't have to keep coming to a meeting again. We should have a reserve statement that is a position that Emma can take with our blessing. Okay, Emma can take us on the... Uh, the well, point. unfortunately, you, the, the resolution, the first resolution that you've had, you've just passed it. Yes. But I think if you were going to do anything, you should have amended it at that point. Ah. You can't amend the resolution. You've, okay. you've, you've gone ahead and, uh, you know, so we're going to be back into, you know, you've just passed that one. So well, you've passed 13, five, five That's mine for the moment. All right, then. So uh, I've been a bit too enthusiastic. Um, <laughs> well, we wanted to get it clear, didn't we? <laughs> All right. Well, look, I, I feel that maybe then we just leave it at that. Yes. Yeah, where, where we are and mm -hmm. um, see what happens over the next uh, the, the, the next few uh, days. All right. It well, I appreciate it everybody's... It, yeah, well. it, doesn't, it, it doesn't stop us from discussing how we might feel to answer that second one. Oh, a general discussion. Yeah, yeah sure. I'm, sure. I'm going to go now. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. So in terms of a general discussion then, uh, going around the table, Val, you start and... I don't know, because I don't know what the second bit was. <laughs> I well, don't the, know what the, David the... said. But I presume it's a plan of action in case we fail. Is that right? I mean, is it worth discussing it now you've just passed that you're going to increase your, your bid to <coughs> 1,500? Yeah. Well, the discussion... Yeah, the on is probably no, one. because we, we would have to now come back anyway. Mm. Yeah. To, to okay. come up with something different. I was just trying to spare us the possibility of another emergency mm. meeting, but I, th I think given where we're at, let's, let's just leave it there and see what happens, as, as Tony said. That's yeah. it. Okay. Well, uh, I apologise to all of you for uh, mismanaging that part. Don't you worry. No. It's not an easy don't, thing. Don't do it again. Lots of, lots of short, quick meetings make us feel busy, so that's good. <laughs> okay. <Yes. laughs> 
Right, so anything, any other things that happened for anybody for, uh, yes, Emma? Yeah, I've got some, any other business. Uh, I've had the invoice come through for the work for the cycleway. We have approved the amount of money. Um, they want the payment up front before they will start anything, so it won't start consultation. Um, so are you happy for me to get that payment sent off tomorrow? How much is it? Right, hold on to your hat. It's a hundred and fifty thousand and seventeen pounds eighty pence. That's including VAT. Obviously, we'll get the twenty five thousand back in VAT, but it is the amount that you approved at the full council meeting of one hundred and twenty five pounds and eighty pence. Why do they want it all up front? That's how they work with all of their highway stuff. With anything that we have to, they they always want the money up front. Is it a fixed price? Yeah, yeah. So they can't come back and say, "Oh, we've forgotten, whatever." Here, we need a bit. More. And they and they can't say, "Oh, actually, this is now going to cost you a lot more because of that." No, they can't. Fair enough. It's the yeah. only reason I would spend the money. Hmm. Uh, David, uh, probably need your advice on this one because uh, you know I know there are ways of putting money in a secure place for people who want this sort of contract. It, is that the sort of thing that we would be doing? Or? Well, I'm not f specifically familiar with, with, if you like, this particular contracting, but you know, in a sense, if, if their terms are, we have to pay it up front, if we try to say we'll pay it up front, but the following X number of strings apply, they'll say that's not acceptable. So mm. it seems to me that we have little choice. We agreed to go ahead. The money's effectively budgeted for. I, I think we should just approve it and be be done with it. Frankly. Okay. So the only other question in my mind is whether we do this before or after the transition to um, the unitary authority, because at the moment you're putting this into. Um, uh, I have to get the initials right. It's NCC uh, Council, as opposed to in in a few days' time. It would be an NC. I don't know which is which is better, if I'm honest. Well, there's only a worry that uh, that um, uh, NCC doesn't exist. Yeah. In a short period of time. I, I don't. Okay. So I've got uh, Ian and David want to talk on it. Yep. Is, is there a, a payment date where it has to be due and is it in April? In which case yes, it, it, the payment date is the 19th of, um, the, the, the final date is uh, 19th of April. My thoughts were if you wanted to get it in now, then they might start, the, you know, they might start the process quicker. Um, we can wait, we can wait until um, our full council meeting and, and put it on the list and do it as normal. I'm, I'm just wondering if we could wait till Thursday, by which time they'll have started. Thank you. <laughs> well, even if we, even if I rank, we get the payment arranged tomorrow, it technically won't hit them till hit them until Thursday anyway. So. Okay, David Fuller. Yeah, well, I'm in favour of starting it as soon as possible. Okay. I, I mean, I did visit ENC today, and the, I was asking them questions like, it's just a bit of background. You know how are you feeling? What's happening? How's the change taking place? And as far as I'm concerned, they're carrying on as normal. Uh, and when the change takes place, they're still carrying on as normal. Yeah. And and it will be like that for a while. So whatever a date is, the date. But it's not going to make a step change in anything that happens. It and that's the impression I got. So delaying it in any way will not make any impact. And I, think I, do, I, do, stuff the, uh, I do stuff the county council, and that's what I've been told as well. Yeah, better the enemy you know than okay. Then on, onward, I think you've got the authority there, haven't you? Emma? Yeah, okay. I mean, obviously, it is all approved, but I just want you to, I didn't want to just do it. And mm. you know, you say what are you doing <laughs> sending that money, but I just thought, you know, if I, we send it now, then they will, st they've got to do a six week consultation, they, you know. Yeah. Before they even start, so it just gets the ball rolling. And I, th there is a heads up for you from Ashton if you want to know. Um, I know you're saying, well, "What has Ashton got to do with this?" Uh, John's my next door neighbour, John Hadden, and he's he's not going to be going again. And in fact, five of the six councillors are not going to continue. 
And he was saying to me yesterday that in the past, when that's happened and they couldn't get enough councillors for Ashton, Aundel takes responsibility for Ashton. Mm. Well, so, it's a watch this space. Yeah, okay. So He doesn't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what the statutory basis for that would be. No, well, it's My what they did. The was point. that if a council failed, well, previously it would have been ENC would have taken it. Yeah, over. that's what I would have thought. Well, yeah. I, I mean, as I said, John told me that's what it would be, and he's been yeah, there. I don't think he's right. Mm. We could take over Peterborough. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I let the ENC stop at Peterborough. <laughs> I let ENC know so at least they're prepared, so they can deal with it when it happens, if it happens. But the, the chances of getting enough councillors in John's opinion, is pretty low. Yeah. Okay, um, so uh, just back on this this issue about this one contract then. Uh, uh, do we have a formal contract with them? With um, NCC? Yes. Um, well, we've had the we've had the report come through, we've had all of the information come through of what they're going to do, and we've approved the scheme. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's, there hasn't been a written contract. Whether we'll get that once it's been paid, I don't know. I can speak to the guy who I speak to. It's, it's only when you're about to hand over money of this ilk. It feels like there ought to be a formal contract somewhere signed for what they're going to give us back for that amount of money. Well, that was it. That was the scheme that we approved. Right, but is that the contract? Well, the contract was a contract. It was a, the scheme that they were the, the plan. David, sorry, well, I was just going to say. I mean, you can have a contract that is not written. So, um, the mm. fact that they're asking us to pay for a scheme of works that we've agreed with them means that there is a contract in existence. And okay. I wouldn't want to try and argue that there wasn't if I were them. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, all right. No, as long as it's, it's good enough, it just, you know, it feels sometimes when things go wrong, you say, yeah, you know, and it's only because as a council, we've got a few issues where we can't find the piece of paper after the event. Yeah, it's, yeah. I, it is a huge amount of money. I mean, we've already spent money with them on this scheme, yeah. Yeah. So, but they were obviously smaller amounts, and it's, it's exactly the same as this. Um, I mean, in our point of view, it's a huge amount of money. Mm. To them, they're, they're writing, you know, for road schemes and things like that. They're writing this sort of thing all the time. So, but I do, I get what you mean. That's why I wanted to mention it tonight before before I did anything about it. Um, but like I say, I'm happy to either wait and we can get it in on the 19th um, or it'll be... No, I think the, the, the view or, is you go with it based okay. on this. It is started. Yeah. I will make a few phone calls before I press the button and just make sure that uh, here are aware that it's being paid and on what day it's being paid. Can, yeah. can you transfer one pound first to make sure that North <laughs> the other way, then transfer the rest an hour later? Just they talk about our money box live and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. It's uh, well, I can do that, but we do regular. Well, we've got a, a regular account set up. You know. That, so I'm that, sure it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, Right. Well, okay. you're you're happy that I can I get that in now. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say goodbye. Well, if there's no nothing else, then yeah, let's finish this meeting now. Thank you very much for uh, for attending. And uh, Robert, thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Bye, bye. 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 Bye